the old Cuba Club, Miami and Havana. A Calliope and Armando Ruiz presentation. The Asturian center of Havana, founded in 1886, was one of the most important mutual aid and relief associations for Asturian immigrants in Cuba. Its head office was the Palace of the Asturians in Havana. The association built and managed schools throughout the country and health facilities such as the Quinta Covadonga to serve its members. Today, its medical center has been renamed the Salvador Allende Hospital in honor of the former communist Chilean president. The Palace of the Asturian Center of Havana is the most impressive of all the buildings erected by any society. Designed by the Spanish architect Manuel del Busto, in the Herrerian style, of the Spanish Renaissance, it is located in the grounds once occupied by the Palace of the Marquis de la Vega de Anzo, which was completely destroyed by a fire in 1918. The construction of the new building was the work of the American company, Purdy and Henderson. Construction started in 1923 and it was extended for the following four years until it was inaugurated on November 20, 1927. 1,200,000 bricks and 1,250 tons of marble were used in its construction. photo of the old center and the Obiasa theater. Aerial view of the place it occupies in the central park of Havana, in front of the also magnificent building of the Galician center. The palace, already finished, in 1927. Photographic Gallery of the Asturian Center today, architectural and interior details.
the society had 130 delegations in the main cities and towns of Cuba, and three in the United States, in Tampa, Key West and New York. Of these, the first had 3,000 associates, a modern building and a sanatorium, also called Covadonga. Also, there were delegations in Santo Domingo, capital of the Dominican Republic and Oviedo, Asturias. In 1930, the number of associates amounted to 60,000, which by the end of the 50s of the 20th century reached 80,000, with new delegations opened in Jajan and Aviles. Other photos and rooms of the social center here. Old photo of the party room with its large glass tear laps and the frescoes that adorned the ceiling. Less well known was the work of instruction and cultural diffusion initiated among the associates from the beginning of the center, with the opening of nocturnal courses that allowed to raise the education of its members and their children. Installed in the social building, schools for girls and boys were kept open during the day, and at night classes for elementary and higher levels of commerce were offered. Already by the 30s of the 20th century, in the Hope Yanos campus, belonging to the center, more than 2,000 students received instruction. Receipt of payment of the Centro Asturiano de la Habana. The most important achievement of the Asturian Center was the creation of the hospital, Covadonga Clinic, inaugurated in March 1897. Pavilions for different specialties, Medical Center La Covadunga. Las Palmas Avenue, Medical Center, La Covadunga Clinic. The political social changes produced in Cuba since 1959 by the Cuban Revolution and the dictatorship of Fidel Castro, followed by the adoption of the communist system, led to a huge migratory movement towards Spain, the United States and other countries of the world, which seriously affected the board of the center, integrated mainly by industrialists and merchants and later, most of the other associates were also affected. The foregoing, together with the cessation of Spanish emigration to Cuba, marked the inevitable decline of such groups in Cuba. The impressive building that the Asturian emigrants and small entrepreneurs raised with great effort for their headquarters, the Palace of the Asturians, was seized by the Communists in 1961. At first it was converted into the headquarters of the Cuban-Spanish Friendship Association. Then it would be the National Palace of Young Communist Pioneers and the seat of the Supreme Court. Finally, since the year 2000, 
It serves as an exhibition place for the Universal Art Collections of the National Museum of Fine Arts. Among the art groups exposed, the one of Spanish art stands out, with works from important painters of the 19th century such as Lucas Velázquez, Zaloaga, Mariano Fortuny, Soroa and Raimundo de Madrazo, as well as the collection of ancient classical art, with a varied group of sculptures and ceramics from Egypt, Greece and Rome. It also has an extensive collection of English paintings from the 18th and 19th centuries. In the 5th of April, 2017, the diminished colony of Asturians in Cuba loses its support. Maria Antonia Emilia Marcos Alonso dies at the age of 86, last president of the old Asturian center of Havana. Thank you for visiting the Palace of the Asturian center of Havana, one of the many grandiose buildings and museums of the city. In 2019, Havana celebrates 500 years of culture and history.